What up my homies? This is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot and today I am bringing you a deck review of the Unicorn Oracle or the um, Oracle of the Unicorn or Das Oracle der Einhorner. Um, so uh, this is by Melanie Missing and the illustrations are by Katharina Kelting. Um, so um, I had found this and a couple other decks just kind of <laughs> trolling the internet and um, I love finding like beautiful decks in other languages especially when I do know those languages where I do um, understand German or read German so um, yeah this deck is not a, a, a bother for me but um, you know there's always Google Translate <laughs> If you ever, uh, you know, get a deck that's in a language that you don't speak, you know, Google Translate can help you out. Um, or you could just use the images and you don't have to bother with the words printed on there. So I picked these up from um, the book depository. I totally almost said the book suppository. Okay, that's just a totally different website. You don't want to go there. Anyway, <laughs> it's a beautiful like creamsicle orange. Um, it's a nice thick box keeps your cards safe. Um, so in here, uh, whether or not you uh, read German, <laughs> um, again, Google Translate people, uh, printed by Allegria Press um, in 2014. Um, so it doesn't really go into too much. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about like unicorns and working with their energy. Um, and then, you know, uh, questions for your cards, um, how to complicate them, you know, your basics. And then it just goes right into the cards and their meanings. Okay, um, so there is that nice, nice thick book. Lovely, well done, well done. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side there. And here are the backs of the cards. So beautiful. And I am obsessed with like unicorn energy. Um, I have my own unicorn that kind of comes to me in my meditations named Selena, which coincidentally is my cousin's name where uh, I was calling it Selena. Um, and then through the meditation, I, I realized that, you know, the unicorn is my cousin and my cousin was really, really into unicorns, um, since like the seventies. Um, so it's nice. I mean, she is on the other side now. Um, she passed away kind of young. So, um, it's nice to know she is my unicorn. <laughs> so, uh, there is a, a coating on the cards. Um, not too thick, but not super flimsy either. So kind of, kind of got that sweet spot there in the middle. Okay. So looking through the images, so here you have like the, the circle or the tribe of unicorns, temple of the unicorn. Like I'm with you. Golden hearts. The uh, unicorn forest, like magical forest. And I think even if you don't read German, um, and if you are mainly an English speaker, um, you know, English has a lot of Germanic roots in it. You know, we kind of have a, a melting pot of language in English. Um, my stepmom's a, a linguist, so she's like, you know, uh, always, always talking about language. And I have such a fascination with all the languages and kind of how they connect, you know, how we have, you know, Anglo-Saxon roots and Germanic roots and um, many of the words that we have and our numbering system are Arabic um, and Spanish too, which is due to the um, influx of the, the Moors in Spain. 
Um, so usually any Spanish word that starts with AL, like the city of Alhambra, um, has roots in Arabic. So it's just kind of neat to see the influence of, of languages on our, on our modern tongue. Oh, animal communication. And this one tends to come up for me a lot too. Just love the soft but not too soft colors. I'm just like looking at these images with you guys and I'm just like, oh, I love working with this deck. You have the constellation of the unicorn. Yeah, so there you go. Let's go ahead and give this a quick shuffle and then um, we'll see this all laid out for y'all. Okay, so shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Let's just pull three cards. So we'll pull Magical Unicorn Forest with the Golden Hearts. And then Hearts Hearts Forest or Hearts I'll have to look up Clang again. Okay. All right. So there you go. So I think the, the colors mesh beautifully, even though maybe they're not all the same color. Um, but yeah, if you have this deck, maybe you have an English version of the deck, um, then let me know in the comment section below um, if you would like me to use this deck in a reading with you. Don't forget to go in that information box and find my website or my Etsy page. Um, just let me know upon time of booking. And if you dug this video, whoops, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, a chicken grease. Peace out.